what is what's happening right here you look really cute you look adorable i love that shade on you for real speaking of shade what do you guys think of it? Mm. I went for a natural look on the lips today. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited for today's video because we're gonna be chatting about some new Young LA that's dropping soon. And we're also gonna be doing a little gym tour. I know you guys have a lot of questions. When we entered this new year, especially, I started seeing a lot of people ask about this space. I've been doing a lot more content on Instagram ever since we got this place up and running. We have a studio and a gym all in one with this brand new space, we love it. This is actually gonna be my third gym tour on this channel. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but third time's a charm, right? If anything, I'm consistent. Do you guys actually remember that? My very first gym. It was in my living room in my apartment on a second floor. It was terrible. I sacrificed my living space, no TV, no couch, just so we could have a gym space. Not gonna lie, it was pretty cool for a living room gym. Fast forward, we started up at a space that we rented that we no longer have, obviously. 600 square feet, we were in love with it. There were some issues though, we'll get into that later. Which brings us to current day in our new gym space. This is 1600 square feet, a little bit over, but it also is divided between a studio and a gym. We needed this extra space so badly just to make content and thoroughly be able to review the activewear for you and have some fun. I needed a place of my own. To be honest with you, after our second gym space did not work out, I started to feel really sad and depressed. I absolutely dreaded having to go to a public gym to get my content. I know a lot of people do and they slay at it, good for you, but for me, it just was so uncomfortable. I never liked doing it and I always was just like, ugh. I didn't wanna feel that way about getting content. I wanted to have fun and enjoy it or else what am I doing? Which is why we're so adamant about always having a gym space. It's important to us. Not just for our own physical health, we love fitness, but we wanna give you guys the best content as possible. And it really feels good to have some work-life separation. Working from my living room, trying to do these reviews, it was fun for a while, but I was just like, I can't, all right, I can't. I have activewear spread out everywhere. The tipping point was literally when one of our box lights almost hit into our flat screen TV. So that's when I was like, all right, it's time. We need a space, some separation, and it's been really wonderful. In this new year, we're really looking to expand, adding in a little more of us this year. A couple days ago, we put up a poll asking you guys what you would like to see from us. A lot of you said, look, just more of you guys. I was shocked. <laughs> but that's also a huge compliment, so thank you. We do appreciate that. So in this new year, we're really gonna strive to show you guys a little bit more, a little more lifestyle, a little more what we're loving lately outside of the world of activewear. So if you have any suggestions, things other than activewear you'd like to see, drop a comment, let me know. I'll throw them in other activewear videos. So first we're gonna take a look at some new Young LA and then we're gonna do a huge gym tour. If you're here just for the gym tour, I will timestamp that for you. You can just go ahead and just skip all this. But if you're here for Young LA, hey, this part is for you. Let's go and see what we're looking at. Okay. I hope you guys are ready. We have a lot of fun videos coming your way. Just bought from the Honor Active Lounge Hall that dropped. You guys were blowing up my messages saying, hey girl, the new Honor Active dropped, man. I'm like, I'm way ahead of you, girl. I already made my purchases. So you can expect a lounge video and an effortless video coming soon. Now, Young LA, they're dropping new sweats, cargos, tees, January 18th. Of course, my code AshleyG saves you 15%, which is definitely one of the highest discounts that any of my codes offer across the board. I am so happy to see them experimenting with little touches of color. They're really big on their earth tones and don't get it twisted. They definitely still kept that in this drop, but I'm loving like this purple color here. I'm experimenting with a new mic in case you couldn't tell. So if at any point the audio gets a little jacked up, that's why I'm still playing around here. I just needed something that was more portable, all right? I wanna be able to jump around like this, okay? And you can hear me here, and you can hear me over here. Like, how awesome is this? About damn time. We were using this overhead mic for forever, and it was so limiting. I always felt like I had to stay fixated in one spot, and it drove me nuts. New year, new me. <laughs> so we have very soft, cozy joggers, cuff on the end. Check it out right here. What is that? What is this? Roman numerals or something? So you learn something new every day. Young LA just taught me that M's mean thousand. All right, I know Roman numerals only up to like 10. So uh, <laughs> 2014 when they were founded. Nice draw cord waist. This is so comfortable. I love when it just naturally grazes around the waist. It's not tight around the waist. Doesn't cinch. 
perfectly comfortable, nice relaxed fit. Hoodie's great, no heavy hood syndrome. With Young LA, sometimes it gets pretty bad with the heavy hood syndrome. This one, this one's pretty good. It's actually not a crazy thick plush. It's almost in between plush and terry cotton. Like they just met in the middle and they really got along and they were just like, yeah, we're gonna make this work. That's what this feels like. Check that out, cozy guy. It's still soft enough where I wouldn't necessarily want to wear it to the gym and sweat, but to warm up in, I think this is a great mixture. This material could really work for that, especially in the winter time. You know, you want to get in that gym nice and cozy and then rip it off when you start to sweat. I feel like these sweats can definitely work for that. They always tend to have something going on right here. This one says, Young Dreamers. Not gonna lie, I tend to like the men's version better. It doesn't say dreamers. It usually says things like ambition or something. Something a little more. Something a little more hardcore, which I gravitate towards. But Dreamers is cute. They're also dropping this set in a darker brown. We got light brown, dark brown, this very cream ivory color. If you look closely, actually, to be honest with you, in certain lighting, it looks like a super light yellow. I wore this on my Gettysburg trip, and when natural sunlight hits it, it looks like an Easter color. At first, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is just off-white. Some yellow in it. Now, we also have some crew sweaters dropping. There's no matching bottoms for this. They just come as crew sweaters, but I love the way they designed this. Unlike the matching sweat sets, this is straight terry cotton inside. There's no plush lining whatsoever. You definitely use this as a pump cover at the gym if you'd like. I actually wore this on my trip with a turtleneck underneath. Huge fan of the position of the text. Going down vertically rather than always horizontal. You got some horizontal action in the back here as well. They've been really playing with putting branding in the center of the middle of the back. What do you guys think? I really love the black and white contrast, but they're also coming in more of an olive green and white, gray and white. Again, with that ivory slash yellow with the purple text. And last but not least, the purple. Now, when it comes to these sweat sets, the joggers, the hoodie, the cruise, you really could size down if you're in between, unless you really like that oversized look. I love my true size small though. They do a great job on adding just enough comfortability without it being too big, too tight. It's always a perfect fit for me. We have some more urban leggings. Now, these match perfectly with the sweats you just saw. So you can easily play some mix and match. So we have gray, black, green, and purple. Purple's my favorite, are you kidding? me this is such a nice pretty muted color they still kept it earthy looking you know it's not like they're smacking you in the face with any brights this time around i mean it's still freaking winter isn't it unfortunately <laughs> when it comes to these urban leggings i've already done an in-depth review i've already done it so if you've already seen it hey, if not you should really check it out now these leggings are great lifestyle leggings they actually made it to my best leggings of the year they were a nominee for the best fashionable legging they're very fashion friendly easily worn with a hoodie crew these are great everyday leggings. Can you wear it to the gym? Sure, of course you can. It has that slippery wicking material. They're very squat proof, so they did a great job on that. My only issue with these is that when I'm squatting, they do over time tend to slip a little bit. Just a little, nothing crazy, but they slip and then I have to readjust myself. So they're not my favorite when it comes to physically working out, at least for lower body day. Upper body day is a little more acceptable. Everyday leggings though, guarantee, like absolutely for that. It's a bit mid rise at best, definitely not high rise. So depending on your torso, it's gonna fit low to mid rise. If you have a super large glute, glute? Just one glute you have, not two, okay. If you have super large glutes, this might be a little difficult for you to wear because there's not a whole ton of glute space. It's okay for me. I think that's another reason why it slips when squatting a little bit. That being said, if you're in between, sizing up rather than down is the way you wanna go with these. We have minimal halter tops. Same exact colors as the leggings you just saw, except they added in an ivory color. This is inside out. Now these halters are adjustable. I reviewed these before. They tend to lip under a little bit. This little band right here just loves to do its own thing from time to time. Again, these are very minimal. There's no bra pads in here. Thick enough material to wear it to the gym, but you will see your nip if it's cold. Stretchy strap. I love these minimal bras, but I do have to be careful because sometimes I literally do slip a nip. Not almost, I do slip it. I think that I personally am going to wear these either in the privacy of my own gym or underneath a sweater, something like that. You know, I'm gonna wear my cruise sweater, my hoodie, 
throw these on underneath. I do think if you have smaller breasts than me, this bra will be amazing for you. You're gonna see how flattering it is. But for my boobs are bigger, just be aware. Don't say I didn't warn you with this one. We have some new cargos. Young LA is always dropping hot new cargos every single month pretty much. Sometimes they're hit or miss for me. Sometimes they just don't work. This month, it's working. It's definitely working for me. So we have a light gray, medium to light gray, olive khaki color, dark brown, and these might be my favorite. Oh my God, look at these. Uh, these are black with white seams. So all of the other cargos have tonal seams except for this one. Are you seeing this? Ooh, that's a hot spicy contrast right there. These are called their streak cargos. They fit so similarly to their travel cargos, which I raved about in the beginning of the summer, I believe. Those were my favorites. These are my new favorites. They're so similar. Very comfortable draw cord waistband, just enough slouch and room, no stretch, but there's just enough room where you can comfortably stretch and move around. Wore these in the dark brown when hiking. I personally love to wear these with either a bodysuit if I'm going out. You can either wear wedges or some cozy Uggs. If not, you can wear with a crop top if you're just trying to keep it street casual, grab a coffee. Young LA's cargos are so good as an alternative to just wearing sweats all the time. I tend to live in sweats, literally live in sweats. Having some cargos mixes up the outfit. You're able to try new styles. You could either cuff the leg in or keep it wide leg. I love that they do that with their cargos. You have massive cargo pockets on the side that are real pockets. These are not as lightweight as the travel cargos, but they're so similar in terms of fit. These aren't windbreakers, so they're not gonna swoosh, swoosh, swoosh every time you walk. I just bit my lip. This is the fifth time in two days that I'm biting this freaking lip. I was out to lunch and I bit it while eating my salad. I was really enjoying it and then this just ruined it and then I, I can't stop biting it. I'm gonna get a canker sore. If you're somebody who dances a lot, you know, you got your Zumba or whatnot, hip hop classes, choreography, you could totally do this. True size small is great. Don't size down. I wouldn't size down in these again because there's no stretch. So if you're in between, I always say size up rather than down, especially when material is not stretchy. Better safe than sorry. Plus cargos, they're meant to just have that oversized slouchy look. So you might as well stick with that. They're also dropping what's called the digital oversized tees in the same types of colors, you know? But we have to take a look for a second, right? We have to look at the design here, this geometric design. Holy, <laughs> Young LA monogram look. Whoops, this is probably all muffled. The Young LA monogram logo decomposition. It's like they took the mock-up from the graphic designer and just threw it on the t-shirt. Not totally my vibe, not my style. It's an oversized tee. This is a small, pretty oversized. Can't blame them for trying new things, okay? They're spicing things up. Front, you do have the matching text that's similar to the crew sweater right here. And before we head into the gym, I wanted to make mention they're also dropping some really cute looking baby tees. Mine are taking a little long to get to me, so I'll probably review them briefly in stories, but just know they are dropping baby tees, which I think would look super cute with the cargos. That's how they modeled it on the website. That's probably how I will style it too. But yes, you really can't go wrong with any of the sweats they're dropping. The cargos are definitely a hit this month for me. And if you're looking for just an everyday legging, definitely check out The Urban. All right guys, so that is what Young LA is coming out with this month. Let me know if you have any questions, but if you don't, we're gonna go head over to the gym now. Let's go see. Let's do a gym tour. Oh my God, that stupid ass tan. Okay, oh. Hi MTV, welcome to my gym. <laughs> All right guys, so we did things a little bit differently in terms of the setup of this place. We used a different company for our equipment, which we will get into in just a second, all right? Ooh, when we first got this place, these walls were all gray. <laughs> they were just like a gray color. We had all hardwood floor, which we still kept in the studio space. It's a nice warm hardwood floor. What we did was we pretty much painted it white. This is all the gym flooring we had in our last gym. We actually got these from Kodiak Sports. They're really heavy duty gym rolled out gym floors, like 100% rubber, heavy as 
Like, he, you need like 20 men to carry one of these babies or you need one bay, because he did it. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna exactly tell you where this is. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but you just never know who the hell's watching right now. So the space we had two years ago, we thought that was going to be a space that we rented for a while. We were only there a year. We left because we actually shared heat and air conditioning with a unit next to us. It was a barber shop. We were very cool with the people next door. But the kicker is the temperature controls were in their unit. So we didn't have access to that. We didn't think it would be a big deal at first. But then we realized once the cold winter months came, they froze us out. And then in the summer, it was like freaking hell. It was hot. I was roasting up in there and I couldn't deal. It was impacting our work. It was always uncomfortable. And then when we kindly asked, hey, and we can like turn the heat on when you're not here on the weekends. Like just because your business doesn't have hours doesn't mean you just shut it off on me too. And they wouldn't accommodate. They acted like they didn't have access to it. So we were just like, you know what? We got to get out of here. So we looked at not renting that space anymore as a nice opportunity to start saving for a house and then just throw all our gym equipment in a house. That was ideal, right? <laughs> Serious? No, we spent all last summer house hunting, this and that. We got our hopes up many times. It was just a real shit show. <laughs> like it was, it was a terrible experience. And at the end of the summer, we were left empty handed, no house, didn't work out. And uh, it wasted a lot of our time. To be honest with you, it took away from our videos, our YouTube channel. We felt that distance that was created and we didn't like that. So we both decided, look, put the house hunting on hold. Let's grab a new studio space that we love and really just focus on what we love to do, all right? That's all that matters right now. We always fantasize about having a unit in this particular location. It's quaint, it's cute, it's such a charming, safe little spot. Best part is it's literally three minutes from our apartment. So the moral of the story so far is if at first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. Try again. So what we did with all the equipment from the last gym is we put it into a storage unit for a while. We knew we would eventually use it. After time, we were realizing a year later, look, we still don't have a spot. We ended up selling back the equipment to the company we bought it from. Most of the equipment, not everything. The rest of it, we just kind of put in my parents' basement. Shout out mom and dad, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. So we ended up selling back our pull down, our Smith machine, our leg extension machine, and our cable machine. We didn't have a crystal ball. We didn't know that we would have a unit like this. We thought, okay, that home gym thing, it was great, it was a fantasy, but we need to get into reality now and realize this just isn't gonna happen for us. Fast forward a year later, we found this spot and we fell in love. We knew this was it. We wanted a big enough unit to not only accommodate a nice, comfortable sized gym, but we also wanted a separate area where we can film and have more of a studio vibe, more fashion friendly. We wanted to feel like we were in a boutique shop. So that is what that spot over there is for. So once we decided we wanted to do this for the betterment of our business and our mental health, keyword mental health, man. We went back to Life Fitness, but all of the prices like tripled. So I was like, no way. Like I would literally, it's like banging your head against the same wall over and over again. We found a different company that was able to accommodate our custom upholstery. Cause if you remember last time we did the white frame, gray, dove gray upholstery, the bigger company's called Fitness Superstore and then we bought from French Fitness, was like one of their sub brands. We ended up going with the pull down slash row machine. We also grabbed another cable machine, leg extension slash leg curl. I love those two in one machines, all right? You have limited space, always get a combination machine. As long as it doesn't sacrifice the quality, that's the way to go. And then last but not least, we actually grabbed a glute drive when I went to a public gym, the glute drive was like my thing. I loved it, I'm obsessed with it. Instead of rebuying a Smith machine, which I primarily only use to really do hip thrusts, mind you, I just stuck to a glute drive. It takes up a lot less space. It was a lot more inexpensive as well. I'm really happy with this glute drive. The machines we ended up keeping from Life Fitness originally, my back extension. I love this because I actually work my abs on here, believe it or not. I don't care what, who says what, I don't care if the gym police wanna come at me, that's how I work my abs and I freaking love it. Okay, I like this, it feels good to me. Ain't nobody gonna tell me different. <laughs> Not here to teach you exercise science, but one thing I do know, this is one of my favorite ways to do abs, 
I have scoliosis, so I have to be very, very careful and mindful of how I'm able to work my core. This feels good for me, and that's all that matters. I'm gonna keep doing it. Bam. And like I said, it's a back extension too, so two in one, right? Over here's our free weights. This is all stuff that we got off of Amazon, everything. I'll have all my stuff linked that I have here that I purchased from Amazon. And in case you're wondering what this is, oh, let me show you. It's our secret heater. This actually, before we rented this spot out, like 10 years ago, this was a farmer's market. And this is where the checkout counter was. So this is where their heater was to keep themselves warm. I did not build this box that people were renting from did and I appreciate it, that's a beautiful box. So that's why we keep the free weights over here because we can't do much with this little heater here. I'm glad it's here, heating everything up. I actually stubbed my toe when we first got in here, I was stubbing my toe on this because it was just like blades sticking out of the ground. So they threw up a nice wooden box here and it's been great. Now I just hit into the box instead of uh, the shards of metal. We also ended up keeping from Life Fitness all of our fixed barbells because I knew these, the free weight man is so valuable and they were willing to buy it back for like virtually nothing. So I was like, F you, I'm keeping this. <laughs> Great, I love it. It goes from 20. I actually have a couple random Titan in here that I bought a while ago. I grabbed this Amazon squat rack. Very simple, very minimal. I personally didn't feel like I needed a cage squat rack. Truth is, I barely squat. And when I do, I have to be in a really good mind frame. I have to be pain-free with my back. I have to be working myself up even to do this small weight because my scoliosis is so limiting in this department. So the weight you see here, I mean, this is like my max weight for squatting. When it comes to back squats, this is it. I don't progressive overload. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I just can't. My low back is my problem in life. So this is my message to you, is to do what your body is capable of. It's great to challenge yourself, but always do what's good for you and what's healthy for you. Don't do what others expect you to do or for show. Don't worry about what you see on social media. That's not real anyway. We also kept our dumbbell rack. 50 pounds, whoa! <laughs> I thought it was good at first when we got this, and I love it except the fact that when I sumo squat, I love grabbing a dumbbell like this and just sumo squatting. This is my favorite. Ooh, I'm so sore from yesterday. Ow, dude, I was sumo squatting yesterday. Fuck. And uh, 50 pounds, I kind of maxed that out, even though I just grabbed a 30. <laughs> I did, trust me, trust me, I did. We also kept our bench. I've had a lot of Amazon benches in my day. Guess what, I don't have them anymore for a reason. There's certain things I will buy off of Amazon, like a barbell, free weights, things you can't F up, but for real things that actually could injure you if they're not stable enough, a bench is something I don't go cheap on, especially with this back. All I needed to be doing is just benching with my chest, and if this is uneven and moves, I could throw my whole back out, so. It was worth the money. It's very stable. It's very freaking heavy too. But Life Fitness did a good job on their equipment. I can't really say the same for French Fitness. Are we ready for the tea? <laughs> you can tell it's a smaller company, so I'm not gonna be too critical. But boy, did a lot of stuff come in really messed up. Like we had at least like three times the same people having to come to try to fix things and it took a long time, a lot of rescheduling and things like that. Um, when we're dropping this kind of money, it, it's just, I did expect a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. Only reason I'm bringing this up is the fact that, you know, a lot of you had questions, like where did you get the equipment? What were your thoughts? How did the process go? Some of you are considering making your own home gym, which is awesome, but I gotta let you know the things that went wrong and what I experienced because I am not on social media for the fantasy life highlight reel. Like that's not what I'm about here. I wanna keep it real and let you guys know the pros and cons of everything, whether it's activewear or my gym equipment, it's all the same to me, keeping it real. I'll put it this way, this equipment, it's, it's, it's good equipment. It's definitely a step up from say Amazon or something like that, but it's not to the extent of Life Fitness. Life Fitness definitely far exceeds the quality of this. This machine is pretty identical to the one that Life Fitness offers. Only difference is, okay, when you have it on a very light weight, it rattles. It's very loud, okay? It's a rattler. 
it's loud. Again, it's only when it's on the very light um, weight, but when I do hip abductors, I only really do have it on the lightweight. So uh, every time I work my glutes on the cables, the whole unit knows I'm doing that. <laughs> oh, she's working her glutes, okay. And it makes me feel bad because I don't wanna be that person. There's a really, really nice nail salon right next door. They're sweet as pie. It's like a spa. So they're all like trying to chill out. And then here comes me clanking the weights. Trying to keep it very calm, cool, and collected here. So the only time we really get a heavy duty workout here is when they're not here. So whenever their hours, like when they're gone and home, that's when we'll really just crank it out. It's a lot of evening workouts here. We'll turn the lights off. We actually, uh, just like our other gym we had, we put all these LED strip lights. We went with the brand Govi. Last time we went with Amazon and they just dwindled down to nothing. They were pretty crappy. Even though these are on Amazon too, I will link them down below for you. We actually purchased them at Lowe's. Along with these lights in the back here. These are Govi as well. We also have this one. This is Govi too. Okay, ooh, it's warm as hell. Ooh. I like to use these to just kind of catch a vibe while I'm catching a bump. I just want to have, you know, Christmas colors when it's Christmas time, when I'm feeling mad and angry and I'm having a stress workout, you know, when you're real stressed and you go and get those, those pumps in, that's when I'll put on some red. You know, when I'm feeling light and bright, I'll throw white on, you know, when I want a clean, clean vibe. This lighting brand is really, really good. I highly recommend them. The quality is awesome. You hook it up right to an app on your phone so you can switch the different colors of the spectrum, however you want to do it, straight from the app. Now, I specifically wanted to go for the corner cable machine. I love corner cable machines. This is the perfect setup for it, you know? Like, what are you gonna put in a corner? Corner cable machine. Out of all the different styles, I feel like this is the most space conscious as well. So I definitely wanted to add that into the mix. If there's anything I think for beginners starting their own home gym, things that you might wanna consider grabbing to ensure that you can work full body, it would be free weights. Can't have enough free weights. So some dumbbells, even a small dumbbell set. If you're looking for equipment equipment, cable machine. You can literally work upper body, lower body, abs, chest. I mean, you name it, you can work it on the cable machine. It's a little tough to maneuver. Life Fitness, I mean, it would glide. Life Fitness was so, so easy to use compared to this one. Picture trying to move something with just gum in it. Like it's just tacky and it's just making things stick together. It's not fluid. It doesn't function as well as the Life Fitness for sure. I also still have my Amazon squat boxes. I have two of them right here. They, it's from the brand Rage Fitness. Don't mind our little security camera there. We just gotta make sure no one's with our gym equipment. I use this squat box all the time for doing step ups. Also Bulgarian split squats, things like that. And I also use it, believe it or not, mostly right over here because I'm too damn short. So this goes here. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> Ow. Ugh. You guys remember this from my last gym? This is from Amazon. Okay, it was between this and getting a uh, power tower, which I really, I really love power towers because you can work abs nicely. This is the next best thing if you don't have the space for it. Just kind of hang here and hope for the best. Come on, Ash, do better. This is all bay, here, right here. Okay, in case you're wondering what's back here, this is a plastic cubicle storage space that just has some extra active wear in it. Like my comfy, cozy, young LA when I'm here and I'm ready to film a video and I wanna throw on some sweatpants. I just have some overflow in here. Okay, we have some Alpha Elite, more Alpha Elite, some Buff Bunny, Gymshark, a lot of things that are off season will go in here as just my backup flow. I actually really like the look of this because it could kind of look like a uh, locker in a way. I liked the grooves in here and the spaces. This was so easy to put together. You just click in, you just click it together and there's a magnet that shuts it. I thought this was great for the price and I got it on Amazon, like, uh, like mostly everything else. I also have a dip bar that I got off of Amazon as well. I haven't done a dip in Mad Long. 
you're probably wondering what these pieces of paper are hanging from my ceiling. This, when we first got this place, this was all open on both sides here. Completely open, no doors, no curtains, no nothing. At first we were just gonna keep it that way, but then once this studio came along and evolved into its own feel, and then we had a different, completely different vibe happening in the gym, it was a little conflicting. So we decided to separate the rooms here. We got these off of Amazon. It's like a textured curtain panel. That's what I'm gonna call it. You screw in these adjusters up top and you're able to just close it shut here. Did not want to invest in installing a real door. We were considering having an actual professional company come in and install like barn doors or something that just slide from one side to the other. We decided against it because A, we don't know how long we're gonna be here. Based off of our last experience, we definitely learned like you never know what's, no, what's, <laughs> I'm done. We didn't want to invest too much in something that we can't take with us one day. So that is why we grabbed these babies on Amazon. They were really easy to install. See, they just shut. And then when you go to close it, it slides right behind each other. Like that, really nice. So um, it does the job, it separates the two rooms. But back to French fitness, this machine, was the most stressful thing in the entire world. It came in built backwards. Let me repeat that. This came in backwards. <laughs> it was not usable. When I'm sitting to do the leg curl, this is where I need it, right? So I set it, now I set it, and I go to put my legs in. I'm here. I think there's a problem here because as I go to do a leg curl, yep. the machine doesn't move. Mm -hmm. But as hard as I can, nothing. Wow. So this needs to get some... And the weight is only at... Oh well, yeah, it's not. <laughs> the installer came with his son after the initial setup, and the son was able to figure out what was wrong with this piece of equipment. So shout out to them or else we would probably still have a busted piece of equipment. We also paid extra for the Dove Gray upholstery, and then things like this came in black. This one did too, but we fixed it. They sent us another piece. This we're still waiting on some more pieces. So as you can see, a lot of this was just jumbled up. Everything pretty much had an issue when it first came in. If I could do it all over again, I would pay the extra money and just stick with Life Fitness, for sure. The only machine that came in that we did not have an issue with was the glute drive. It's very straightforward. There's no cables involved. I think that has a lot to do with why it came in properly. Anything that had to deal with cables had an issue which was three out of the four pieces of equipment, go figure. We knew when we came here, this would be the wall for the mirrors and the dumbbells. This is the one and only solid wall. I love these pitched ceilings. I feel like we could breathe better here. The other gym we had, it was like a, like a cave. You know, you had natural light coming in one side, but that was it. It was like a dungeon back there. This you have natural light on this side. You also have natural light coming from here. And then you have natural light coming from here. So you're hit from all angles. I'm a big fan of natural light. It gives me that energy. Another thing that really stood out to us about this space, other than the natural light, we really love the ship lap. These accents are placed in random spots and it just works. It just adds a beautiful texture to this area rather than just having, you know, plain white walls. I, I fell in love with the shiplap. Now over here, a little offshoot space with an entryway. This Amazon cart that I, this was like the best investment out of anything, is this rolling Amazon yoga cart. This whole, oh, there goes the, oh, there go, yeah. Check this out. Okay, it's definitely messy because I'm a messy person and I don't actually pick up after myself like I should. Where the frig did I put this? Here, put this over here, all right? This goes here. Bay brought his football here because he plans to play football in here for some reason. In case you're wondering what this is, this was from Amazon. It is a portable preacher curl. So you literally like, and then lift your weights. Really focalize on isolating that bicep. Bay wanted nothing more than a preacher curl in here. And, um, well, there's no preacher curl in here. So he went for this, this Amazon makeshift preacher curl, which is actually a great idea because it's portable. You can use it anywhere. So if you work out from home, rather than buying an actual piece of equipment, let's grab one of these pyramids. 
That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a pyramid. Back to my Amazon cart. This uh, this thing was something I didn't realize I needed until, until I needed it. I started noticing that all my yoga mats, my ab wheel, my yoga blocks, my barbell pad, I even have wedges that I love sticking under my feet when I squat. This way I could work my quads. This is this just adds a little elevation to the heels. I love these pads. I actually got them off of Amazon as well. This is from the brand Hardwill, I believe. Hardwill? Yes. Harder Will, I'm sorry. You could stack them depending on the incline you want. I love these. So if I'm doing goblet squats and I elevate my heels, works my quads really nicely. So this is the catch-all for the smaller miscellaneous things, just to keep things organized. Okay, I got my glute bands. Any little thing hanging around gets tucked away in here really nice and orderly. We also just grabbed one of these water coolers here. Amazon, go figure. This is blinking because we're out of water. No one told me how expensive those jugs are. You have three different settings. You have hot water, you have room temperature water, and then cold water. I think this thing was less than 200 bucks and it's definitely worth it. I love it, love this thing. This is a gross little side room that I'm not gonna let you in because it's kind of embarrassing. It's uh, dirty, <laughs> it's filthy. It, uh, oh, please don't go in there, oh God. It's just, it's got a whole lot of shit in here. Put it that way, we got our toolbox, our trash can, our vacuum. I got this thing off of Amazon which just has like pre-workout, some snacks, cleaning products, coffee filters, things like that. We have a mini fridge that I can't even access if I wanted to because there's so much shit in here. Oh yeah, that's trash, sorry guys. Oops. We did have a really nice table in here, but Bay wanted to collapse it to free up some space. I had the idea that this would be like our little break room. I was gonna have like this cute little, I was gonna have this cute little coffee spot set up, maybe a little stupid cheesy sign above it, maybe even a mug tree. And then it just turned into this. And um, womp, womp, womp. I give up. Look and there's our it. Santa Claus. He's just packed away for the year over here. Oh, and these just came in the other day. Not even, I think these came in yesterday, mm -hmm. like last night. These are the pads Replacements. pull-down mm -hmm. machine, but they're the wrong size. That's the second time they sent the wrong size. There you go. See, that's what we're dealing with. Yeah. And I think this is the last piece of equipment. Yeah, I mean, aside from the, the core bike, Oh, I don't even wanna talk about that parkour bike. The pedal fell off and my foot got caught in the momentum of that, you know, turning cycle. And I bruised up my foot. And ever since then, I was like, you know what? That bike can seriously go f itself, seriously. I put it in the corner, okay? It has a lot to think about, so it's punished right now. It stays in the corner, no window to be seen. You could just stay there and rot for all I care about. This sole bike we had in our older gym, I actually really love this because it's semi-portable. And I say semi because it's like, it rolls up so it saves a lot of space, but boy, this mother is heavy. We really botched it up bad. We scraped the crap out of it when trying to move it out of my parents' house into the U-hole. <laughs> I'm surprised it, it hung on and didn't just collapse and break altogether. Now, what's cool about this is, like I said, it gets tucked up away. I obviously need it tucked up away because you have a door here. Okay, so this, you just lift it up and then just pull it down. We're getting dusty, whew. It's not dusty because I don't use it. It's just dusty because I don't clean it. Just wanted to clarify. Get down there. So this is my treadmill. I call this my cozy cardio corner. You can see why I like to do my tread tests here because with all this natural light coming at you on the side, you can literally see cellulite you know you can test for that cellulite you can obviously cel see cellulite in these leggings and then when i'm done i just kind of lift it back up and hope it doesn't fall on me the mirrors we actually went with a local company the same company we went with last time we installed mirrors they're so professional so good right down the road from us i'm glad we went with the three panels i was even debating on doing a fourth one here but i'm happy we didn't because the fixed barbells, I wanted to keep them near the free weights. So I wanted all free weights to be right here, minus the plates, of course, off to the side. This keeps things very coordinated. When it comes to having a mirror, the obvious thing to do is you wanna have your dumbbells in front, you wanna have any free weights next to it. This way, you know, it's really close. Just grab it, come right here. Yes. Bam. 
So I like to keep cardio together, even though I only have a treadmill right now. <laughs> I'm not big into cardio. All right guys, so that is that. As you can see, a little bit of the old, a little bit of the new. These are just my thoughts on how this whole process went. So I hope you guys found this helpful. The point of this video was to share with you where we're filming now, this new space, hopefully help you guys out if you're considering starting something of your own. Any questions you have at all, I'm an open book, drop a comment. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video of the other side, do a little studio tour. Up to you, just let me know in the comments. All right, so definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have some brand new Honor Active, Pursue, Navigation, all the good stuff you guys are requesting coming your way. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video. Mwah.